plays Mortal Kombat Day Alliance for PS2. If your host, Mr. Rock, this is the Let There Be Blood series. I uh, hope everyone's doing wonderful out there in the wonderful world of YouTube. I just need a few minutes to set up. So, so far, everything seems to be working well. Okay, hold on, making sure I go through. Yep, okay. Yep, so we're gonna, uh, I'm just gonna go set up the game and then, yeah, let's get into it. Ow. Sorry, guys. <laughs> A lot harder than it looks. But yeah, that was a lot harder than it looks because I have cords everywhere <laughs> and everything else. Because today I'm using the mic. So I got cords running all the way around. So yeah. I haven't played this game in probably about, what, over 10 years? Last time I played this, World Combat 9 just came out. So... Oh wow, I don't even have a save file on this. Or do I? Oh, okay, yeah, I have one on the other one. But today we're going to be playing for about... Roughly about three hours. I think. I think we'll literally end it at two. I was originally supposed to live stream yesterday, but it was a holiday, so I literally decided, well, let's just take an easy break. If you guys can't hear, I'll turn up the volume. I'm not sure how it sounds. If you guys want to, you guys could put in the in the comments below who's your favorite Mortal Kombat character. Mine's Kano. Always have been. So be kinda of interesting to see which ones are your favorite as well. Earthrealm. They will be a 
unstoppable. I can no longer stand idly by and watch this evil consume the world. I have relinquished my status as Elder God to return to Earth and lead you all to battle against our old adversaries. We must act now. We must stop this deadly alliance. Okay. Let's get into it. But yeah, guys, I want to make sure that technically the sound's still coming through. I know, I know it's coming through on the voice. I'm not sure about the game itself. So let's see what is in the game. Let's do some arcade. I don't know if they had a story mode back in the day. Got played by Boy Kano. Okay, so... This is me just trying to figure out the controls. Right now. Like I said, it's been over 10 years. Okay, what is this button there? Okay, so... Only D-pads work. Okay. That's how you grab. I have no idea how to do fatalities. Sorry guys. But I don't think there's going to be any fatalities in this game. Unless I look them up. <laughs> mm. And also, uh, the next Mortal Kombat game will be on Monday. Uh, we're going, we're doing Mortal Kombat Monday. I just literally threw this as a bonus because this was supposed to be on Monday, but like I said, Monday was a holiday, so I literally decided to do it today. The only day that I'm not going to be doing uh, Mortal Kombat is on the 29th because I'm pretty busy that day. So, or else every Monday will be a Mortal Kombat with Mortal Kombat 10, 11, and then 1 on the 22nd. So. Maybe I should look up a uh, how to do fatalities. Dead zone. Okay. 
Square, square, up, circle. Okay. Square, square, up, circle. Sounds like a good one. Square, square, up, circle. Oh, wow. Really can't do anything with this chick. If you guys were wondering, am I good at Mortal Kombat games? Nope. Never have been. So I always play on like the easiest difficulty. <laughs> In a way, because yeah, I've always been bad at them. My friends have always been good. Me, I've been pretty bad at them. Still love them, but I'm just always been bad at them. Okay, who's next? Oh, Johnny Cage to revenge Sonya Blade. Okay. This game came out in like what 2002 I'm not sure what year it really came out I think it did Ooh. gotta be careful got him there we go Who's next? Sub Zero, okay. But that's pretty much the plan for today. Just play some uh, Mortal Kombat for other three hours, ten minutes, roughly. Like I'll stop it at uh, two o'clock my time, or if I get really bored, maybe one. But that all depends on the situation. Like I said, I haven't really played this game in a while. And don't worry, we'll play as different characters. It's just that I have to lose as K Kano. And then we'll change up characters. Try to cheese it. Try to cheese that one. No, you got me. got me there okay well that's one so now we're gonna change up a uh, character hopefully it lets us so yeah it does uh, we're gonna be scorpion now hello Dan hope all is well just doing some uh, Mortal Kombat. H Hello, Strive. 
I said we're gonna be playing for the next like three hours and ten minutes roughly. Yep, get over here. But I did say to you to you guys that technically Mortal Kombat was coming, so I make do all my promises. <laughs> I was just recently Kano by a loss to Sub-Zero, so now I'm going to try to be Scorpion, because Scorpion and Sub-Zero had a great feud. And like I told you guys uh, before, I don't know if you guys were here, but this is my first time playing this game in over 10 years. <laughs> I've had the game, it's just that I haven't played it. And that's why I kind of wanted to do retro games this year. Because there's a lot of games I'm looking at that I haven't learned to even touched in like years and years and years. Mm. So that's kind of the plan for this year actually is to get around to literally playing a lot of old retro games. You know. Oh yeah, I'm going to cheese it with the blade if I can. Sub-Zero's been a tough little... But no, I don't know how to do fatalities in this game. If I did, well, I'll do them. But no, I don't. Like I said, when it's been over 10 years, you're going to forget everything about this game. <laughs> and no, I don't have any other Mortal Kombat games on uh, PS2. I might buy some in the future. If you guys want to see that, uh, there's a lot of them I never played. Scorpion Raiden. Ah, okay. Nice. Mm. My favorite's always been Kano, though. Kano and Scorpion were. Kano, Scorpion, uh, Sub Zero. I've been my favorite free. My least favorite's uh, got to be Sonya Blade. And if you know why, you know why. She kills Kano and right in the movie, like right away. But uh, literally, on Monday is going to be Mortal Kombat 10. Then the next Monday is going to be Mortal Kombat 11. Sonya is the counter to Kano. Yeah, but they did Kano dirty, though. At least Kano could have made it close to the end. He was one of the originals, you know. Like villains, in, a, in my opinion. But no, they did them dirty. Mm-hmm. I agree. They did do them the wrong. But, yeah. And I'm talking about in the movie. I'm not talking about in the video game. I'm talking about in the movie. The Mortal Kombat 95 movie. He dies, like, right away. So. I don't mind losing the Kano. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I know, just, no, I'm just literally saying, mentioning that just in case someone comes in and doesn't know what we're talking about. Strive. Like, look how cool that is with the freaking laser eye. That always used to freaking, was like one of the coolest paints for me back when I was a kid. When I first seen that, I was like, holy crap, man, this guy could shoot laser out his eyes? <laughs> So now we're going to continue. We've already been Kano, been a Scorpion. Let's try a different one. Uh, let's see who they got. Do they have a Liu Kang? No, they got Kun Lao. Johnny Cage. Uh, 
think who I want to be to go against Kano is probably Johnny Cage. Kind of makes more sense. But the movie wa was playing some of the game uh, tropes, and one of them was every time they choose Kano, I use Sonya. Ah, okay. I just thought Johnny would be more appropriate because Kano what, did try to hit on his wife. Oh, Kano's really hard in this game. <laughs> okay, I gotta learn to try to figure this out. But like I said, I'm just playing for fun. I'm not playing to learn to win in a way. I'm just playing just for fun. Give this game some love, like it needs. Because a lot of people literally don't really talk about this game enough. You know? They'll, they'll bring up like Shallow Monks, Armageddon, Deception, you know, when it comes to the PSG ones. This one's kind of like barrel to bone. So. Okay, so. You know what? Let's try Sonya Blade. So. Many of the movies matchups were based on the old game strategies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, I wish if I could cheese this, that would be great. I don't know how to reverse yet. But if I could cheese it, there we go, I cheesed it. You're actually watching how I actually really do play Mortal Kombat. I just cheese the game half the time. This is how I actually do play it. <laughs> I'll press the save button over and over again and just cheese the hell out of the game. Because like I told you guys before, I'm not really good at Mortal Kombat games. I love Mortal Kombat, don't get me wrong. I've never been good at it. My friends were always good. They all literally do all the fatalities and all that shit. The friend the friendships and all that, it's like What am I watching? <laughs> okay. Test your sight. Here we go, test your sight. I'm not that blind <laughs> to not know that. Okay. I think the reason why this game doesn't get looked upon is because of it doesn't actually have a story mode. It just has like arcade. And yes, we'll be doing the crypt as well. So we're going to literally try to crypt out and see what's there.
Because there is a crypt in this game, so we'll try that out. See what we can get. I don't even know how many points I have. So. Oh, wow. But nice that they hit me with their freaking fatality. But, nope. Let's see. I think for him, I want to use... Where's, there he is. Kenshi. If, uh, if I remember correctly, the villain in the movie was originally non-existent. Non a rumor started around a secret boss in the first game. And that was part of the influence of the movie. Oh, okay. Oh wow, this day is really going freaking fast. It's already 11.04. We've only been playing for a half hour. It only feels like I've been playing for five minutes. Shane's son, I think, was his name. If it was a fake boss, the devil decided to make real. Well, yeah, Shane Sun was the first boss in uh, the first Mortal Kombat game and also the movie. I have the movie on DVD. I have um, a triple fret set or something like it's called. Hey Quantum, hope all is well. Just playing some Mortal Kombat Day Alliance. Trying to show this game some love. As I said, uh, it's going to be Mortal Kombat Mondays going forward for the next three weeks. So we got 10, 11, and 1. So... The original plan why Mortal Kombat was happening this month is because I never streamed Mortal Kombat 1 before. And also this one. I never streamed this one either. So I thought, well, I'll give, I'll give these games some love. Well, this guy is a freaking freaking beast. I got to learn how to block. How do you block in this game? <laughs> I haven't figured that one out yet. But yeah, this is the first time I'm actually playing this in over 10 years today. So last time I played this was when Mortal Kombat 9 came out. So. Because I bought Mortal Kombat 9 and then I never looked at this game again. <laughs> oh, here we go. Fatality. This is what I was waiting for. That is a weak fucking fatality. I hate to say it, but that's weak. This is what fucking uh, Ed Boon does? He creates this? That's a fucking fatality? <laughs> that is a horrible one. Okay. Let's try Kun Lao. Round one, fight. 
Hate the way how they change the goddamn camera angle constantly on you. Like if your opponent moves, then it changes the camera angle all the time. That's annoying. <laughs> Okay, got at least one round on him. And I know technically this could have been Thursday. I literally did say that I might stream on Thursday this game. But I got plans on Thursday. So things literally got changed according to freaking plan. I'm hanging out with a good old buddy of mine. So. Bad day, so. Yeah. Okay, so we got past him. Let's see who's next. Molark. Was this guy ever in any other Mortal Kombat games? I don't remember this guy at all. This is gonna be a freaking nightmare, I think. This could take three hours just to beat him. Look at this guy. Oh, I'm cheesing. I'm definitely freaking cheesing <laughs> against him. There is no way that I'm freaking gonna, I'm not gonna cheese. That boulder is just going to destroy me if I didn't. Wow, I barely got any moose on that one. Okay. Holy crap, is this guy hard? Oh, he's dead. Get used to seeing you Moloch for a bit. I don't think I'm going to be able to take him down pretty freaking quick. I'm going to need a guy that has a really damn good freaking sword in it or something. Mm, I haven't tried Shane Song. You're talking about Shane Sun earlier, Strive. Here he is. <laughs> Let's try Shane Sun. He is the bo first boss of Mortal Kombat. Holy crap. You can't, the, he doesn't even let you get any offense in. He just literally goes straight to the boulder. Wow. Be nice if I had a fucking boulder. <laughs> I could I could probably win as well if I had a frickin' boulder.
Okay. Too bad I can't get, use Goro. Goro would be freaking an excellent against him. Okay, so who have we not tried yet? We haven't tried Quan Chi and Bolcheno. We haven't tried the girls yet. I don't think. Well, not her, anyways. Mm. Oh, well, let's try Quan Chi. I'll try and find the boss I was referring to, but Shansi was in, but not wasn't playable. The rumors was about making him playable, I guess. Well, technically, the hidden character that was originally supposed to be the boss in Mortal Kombat 1 was Reptile. That's why he's on the bridge. He was actually supposed to kick your ass. But then they went with Shane Sung. And how I know this is because I know freaking Ed Boon. Actually. So. I know the creator of Mortal Kombat for quite some time. <laughs> Well, one of the, well, him and uh, John, I believe, created Mortal Kombat. I believe John also has some credit as well. I forget his last name, though. Oh, that freaking works perfectly. Okay, double blades is what I need. I might have to use this guy, even if I lose. I think I got a good shot with him. Mm, just keep going. Oh, man. No, that's the reason why he was in the game. Strive. He was in there to be the boss. But then they changed it, changed it around and made him into a secret character. They just didn't feel like... And I'm talking about, I'm not talking about the movie, I'm talking about the video game. Strive. I'm talking about the video game. He was supposed to be the boss in the video game. But they went with Shan Tsun because of freaking, um... They felt like he was more powerful. I went back to, with Quan Chi. I think technically Quan Chi is where I need to be to beat this character. So I'm going to try Quan Chi one more time and then maybe ch ch change it up. But I feel like I almost had him with Quan Chi. And if you guys are wondering where the hell did I meet Ed Boone, I met him at a convention actually. <laughs> so he was promoting uh, I don't know if he was promoting this Mortal Kombat or he was promoting the one before it but it was right around that time that I met Ed Boon I need to focus. I'll read comments in just a second. Let's see if I can literally try to get this guy. Doesn't look like it. Looks like I'm dead already. Mm. Looks like a cheese. Oh, I cheesed it. Okay. Uh, I know I just remember some comments about why choices were made about the movie. It was impressed to be about the rumors that developed around the game. Well, yeah. Okay, let's see if I can get him now. I gotta stay, try to, like, learn how to reverse, like, quickly. <laughs> hmm. 
So that boulder is going to literally do some damage. Because that's all he's doing. He's hitting me with the goddamn boulder. Take away the boulder and, you, and try to actually fight. The guy would be like... Super easy. Let's see. Where's Sub-Zero? Or is he hidden? Oh, there he is. I don't even know what difficulty I have it set at. To be honest, like I said, it's been many years. So this could be on normal or it could be on hard, I don't know. Okay, so I gotta try. Mm, oh, I don't like any of that. Sub-Zero sucks in this one. With that freaking sword, oh my goodness. <laughs> At least I got a hit. That's all I could say about that. I was thinking that he would literally at least have something. How do you block in this game? I'm pressing almost every button how to block. Yeah, I give up on that part. Try to figure out how to block. Just gotta win it, I guess. <laughs> uh, okay, so we use Sub Zero. We haven't used Bull Rancho or her. The rest of them, I believe, we've used. So, you know, let's try Bull Rancho. Maybe I'll puke on the freaking people and give me an easy win. Don't get me wrong, I don't like Bull Rancho as, as well as the next person might. But I do remember that he pukes, I believe, on people. This Moloch is one tough son of a bitch. <laughs> but I'm not giving up. Okay, got him there. It's got focus. Oh, for frick's sakes, I thought my I thought I hit him. I swear I hit him in the back of the head before he literally he even touched me. Well At least it was close, I guess. That's all I could say. Uh let's try my bottle. Before I tried the woman again.
<laughs> no, we got to enter test your site. Ah, uh, they moved it last second. Okay. I screwed up there. It was originally there and then they moved it. Damn, is he hard? <laughs> mm. You pretty much just gotta cheese it. I'm just hoping now that he did cheese works. I should just call this the Bullock stream. This is probably gonna take all, almost all stream to learn to kick his ass. <laughs> mm. Oh my goodness. At least have me a goddamn finisher or fatality or something. Stop using the goddamn boulder. Let's see what his fatality is. Computer. <laughs> Here, let's try her. We haven't tried her yet, so let's see what she's got. Lee May, huh? How many wins has he got? Five, it says? I don't think she's gonna win, actually, but at least, uh, at least I could say at least I tried her. That's the whole point. <laughs> mm. No, she sucks in this game when it comes to trying to even perform a combo no seven wins he has okay holy crap that's a lot of wins I swear I gotta learn how to reverse and I gotta do it quick. I know I keep saying that, but at the end of the day, there's gotta be some freaking button out, in, out there that teaches me how to reverse at least something of his. <laughs> I think what we're going to do is literally go to the crypt for a bit and then go back and try again. My character's arenas with extra hit your profile required. Fine, whatever. I don't know. Try Kano. Oh, 
Oh my goodness, I gotta remember this now? You gotta be freaking kidding me. I'm supposed to re play fucking remember game? So it's triangle R1 L. Yeah. I was trying to go on the crypt and that's why. What? Still won't let me go on the crypt. Well that sucks. What's conquest? Let's try a little bit of conquest mode. Oh my goodness, I won't let you do that either. Well this game freaking sucks. Oh, there we go. Maybe now we could try conquest mode. <laughs> you gotta put in your goddamn code every goddamn time. Well, that's gonna suck. Let's try conquest mode and see what this is about. We still might go back and try to beat Molark, but I don't want to make the whole entire stream where I'm just trying to literally beat him <laughs> okay so each step is a victory how you maneuver in combat plays as much as a part of your strategy as how much you punch or kick. Tapping direction or movements you will see. Step towards the ninja three times, then step away three times. Okay. Really? Do not assume that offensive is always the correct way to victory. Okay. So you don't do soul streams? Uh, so you don't do soul stream two streams that later still fighting the same boss? What do you mean soul streams? I'm not uh, familiar what you mean by that, Strive. Backwards dashes. trying to figure out I'm still trying to figure out buttons like that's the thing that sucks about this game for me I have uh, I turned the map <laughs> Games that refer as Dark Souls like. I never played Dark Souls. I've heard of it, but no, I've never played it. Mm. But I had no idea what you're talking about there. Can I get out of this? Yeah, I can. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to do training freaking things on stream in a way. That's why. 
just seems like I'm just going to be mashing up buttons for absolutely no reason. Can I go in the crypt now? Let's see what we can buy. Oh wow, we got nothing. Because it doesn't save. So all that work for that we literally did was for nothing. Great job, Mortal Kombat! I just whooped about freaking five freaking people's asses and you won't let me have it. Okay, I guess we gotta go back here and try to earn some coins for the crypt. We're gonna try Kano again. Oh, now it literally said it has the freaking coins. Oh, that's great. And we don't get to fight Movado this time. Uh, I thought it literally saves. Well. Mm, if I knew that, I would have literally just kept on fighting Movado. But at least now it's giving you some coins, so I like that. So maybe we should have done that earlier, so that we got some coins, so that we could get some stuff at the crypt. There we go, got 100 gold coins. I'll read on the second strive. I want to beat her first and then I'll read. For big messages each time. For big messages, I, it will take me a bit. <laughs> so. Because literally, like, I only see it for like a split second on TV. So, but for bigger messages, I have to literally check the tablet. Okay, so what we got? Dark Souls is a game. You have to memorize the boss attack strategies. Often times the boss attack strategy changes multiple times throughout a fight. They can you die and start all over again each time. The origin of the guilt guilt meme. I don't know what the guilt guilt meme is. I have no idea what you're talking about, but okay. <laughs> I also don't know a lot about memes either, so. Hmm. I know a little, but I don't know enough. Mm. I'm gonna see if I could. Oh, you can't do that in this game. I was gonna try to throw him into the freaking thing. Yeah, I guess you can't do that in this game. That sucks. But yeah, I never played Dark Souls game. Probably by the time uh, Dark Souls was clearly out, I was probably playing COD. Cause I used to play a lot of uh, Call of Duty back in the day. I used to get stoned and freaking play a tons of Call of Duty. So, that's probably what I was doing. <laughs> I don't even know what year it came out, but I'm assuming it came out in like 2010's era. So... If that's the case, then yeah, I was probably playing a lot of Call of Duty. It's good, good, but meant to be ironic by spelling get good. Oh, okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Also, guys, on April 18th, I'm going to be doing another video on Cody. Uh, Cody Norman, who was my old roommate. It would have been... Uh, April 18th would have been the one-year anniversary of his passing, so... I'm going to do a video on uh, his favorites and also memories. That's what it's going to be called. So his favorite things slash memories. I know I did one about his birthday, but I want to go more in depth about what he liked, what he, and everything else. And I, like, if you were to create like a dating profile of Cody, then technically that's what I'm gonna try to do. Like, what's his hobbies? What are, what are his freaking favorite things? So, besides just marijuana. <laughs> So yeah. Who we got? We got Mabado, huh? Okay. So I say we'll play for another hour of this. Then we'll go to the crypt and uh, go spend some more coins. And see what we can unlock. And then we'll go back to the freaking thing. For Cody it was. <laughs> For Cody it was a hobby slash uh, way of life. Because <laughs> he sold drugs. He literally did everything. So with, uh, with the freaking thing. You know. But yeah, I'm gonna go into more in depth. Like, talk about his like favorite movies, favorite TV shows. Um, about what kind of cars he liked, what kind of freaking person he really was, you know. Like I went, like the video that I did earlier was just about me literally meeting him and then literally sharing some memories. But I never really literally talked about like, what he what he likes and what he didn't like in a way so and I knew I was gonna do other video on Cody that's why I stopped the video there if you guys were wondering why I stopped the video on on him there the turbo 911 nope mm, he wasn't a big fan of Porsches he, he liked uh, classic muscle cars. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> mm. But yeah. I mean, I don't even like Porsches, to be honest. I've driven a couple Porsches, but I don't like them. Same thing with Hummers. Hummers and uh, freaking Porsches are kind of in the same category with me. I've driven both and I don't like them. So. I've driven an H2 Hummer and I've driven a freaking your car that you said earlier. The 911 Turbo. So. But that was before I lost my license. Uh, so, let's go, let's go Sub-Zero. Oh, you mean the Chevy Nova? No. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to see what you meant, but you said Nova. Chevy Nova? No, it's not the Chevy Nova. Mm. I grew up with uh what was it I, it says i grew up with Vol volkswagen bugs okay mm -hmm.
I grew up with Volkswagen Bugs, so I had the poor man's version of the 911. Oh, okay. Well, Mr. And if you guys were wondering what Hummer was I was driving, it was a Celebrity Hummer. It was actually uh, Kelly Osborne's Hummer. Because I was dating her for a tiny bit. <laughs> so I drove her car for a bit. So. But that was years ago. That would have been, what, 10 plus years ago? At least. No, way over 10 years ago. Definitely over. Yeah. Way over 10 plus years ago. That was day in there. So. And the Porsche was also my friend uh, in California. In a way. Brennan. He had a freaking Porsche and he let me drive it. So. Because he wanted me to buy one and I said, well, I don't feel like spending that kind of freaking money if I don't even get to test drive a car. And he literally said, well, here's the keys. Go for a ride. So. And I didn't like the car and yeah, I didn't buy one. Mm, who should I be? Let's be country. But me and Kelly only dated for literally, what was it, three weeks? So it wasn't even that long of a uh, relationship we had. We're still friends, but romantic relationship was only three weeks. <laughs> Okay, so. Okay. Can I get him? Also, guys, next month you guys are going to be meeting my famous mom. That will be on, uh, we're planning May 10th, but it could happen a little bit later. All depends. You know. But we are planning, still shooting for May 10th. That will be exactly one week after my mom's birthday. So. It will be like a Mother's Day special. So. As well, because Mother's Day will fall literally like what? Two days before? Oh, here we go. Fatality. I was I wanted to see what fatality you guys. Okay, that's a pretty weak fatality as well. Pretty weak. No fire, nothing. Like, come on, Ed Boon. Everyone else, Scorpion has fire. You know, it would have been nice if the technically was like a fire cord and then technically it blows up his head. That's how I would have done that fatality. Um... 
Let's be Johnny Cage. Also, the, the plan for this year as well, I'm going to be doing some uh, stories about my life on the road as well. I thought I'll start doing that uh, somewhere in the summertime. So, I don't know, know exactly when, but it's coming. Trust me. You guys are going to hear road stories about me being on the road with Alex Cooper and hanging hang out with my mom and everything. And what it was like being a kid back then, you know, so. And why it's going to be in the summertime for my road stories, because it'll be 16 years in, in this summer since I literally have been on tour. <laughs> so, with my dad and all that. Last time was in 2008. So, my dad retired in 06, but... For my 18th birthday, I went back on tour just to sing with Alice Cooper. And I was only allowed to do two songs. So, so it's not like I did all, the whole entire show. Oh yeah, I'm cheesing. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Oh, I can't even get even set up. One thing I learned about Kano, can't beat him, join him. <laughs> so I'll do a mirror match.
I kind of wish I wish uh, we could see Kano's uh, fatality though. If I'm gonna lose, at least hit me with uh, fatality. I want to see if you can rip the guy's heart out or something. Give me something. Like that. If you guys are wondering, is there any going to be more any more wrestling content this year on the channel? Yes, just not for a while. <laughs> probably not for another what six, eight months, probably. So, because I do have a schedule, and I got things booked all the way until September right now, so. And September is going to be Mortal Kombat. Uh, no, not Mortal Kombat. Uh, GTA. Not Mortal Kombat. We're playing Mortal Kombat. That's why I said that. Uh, GTA. So we're doing a lot of GTA games in uh, September. I have literally five of the GTA games on PS2. So we're going to be doing original PS2 games. I need to go grab that drink. Oh, there it is. <laughs> P.S. No dibs on my drink. <laughs> Drinking uh, wild cherry Pepsi. It's Crycon Lyle. Even if it is just a Kano stream, I'll be fine with that. Since Kano's my favorite. <laughs> but it would be nice to get past him. Yeah, oh shit, here we go again with the number nine, number nine large, number six with extra dip, two forty fives. <laughs> Number seven with, uh, with a large soda. Mm. 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 So, so yes, we are gonna be doing all, mm, doing all of them. So in September though, and I might even play GT Online in September if I can get it to fucking work. I haven't really got GTA Online to freaking work. I don't know. Every time I freaking try to stream it, it literally cuts off. I've tried it many times to freaking do it. But it just keeps cutting off every time I fucking try streaming GTA Online. It'll literally cut off like it, like in a minute or so. So. But GT, but if I was to literally tell you the honest truth, San Andreas is my least favorite game of all the GTA games out there. It's one of my least favorites. It's not something I actually enjoy playing. Because if you guys know how to 100% the game, you understand that it's fucking frustrating as hell. And I mean 100% the game. Not literally beat the game. 
Have you ever 100% the game strive? Of G uh, of freaking uh, San Andreas, you understand that technically it sucks. I 100% that game once. Once I've literally done it. I'm never doing it again either. <laughs> so. Because the 100% of the game, you actually have to literally control that whole entire neighborhood. The whole entire freaking thing. You have to make it all green. And trust me. It's not as easy as it looks, because you're they're just gonna keep literally attacking you. Oops. Pressed it too soon. But yeah. But yeah, San Andreas is my least favorite. I'll literally the GTA PS2 games at least. Yeah, but did, did you remember how hard it is to do it? That's why I hated it. You know, it was literally a bullshit game. <laughs> Not only that, but I fucking hate the fucking fact that you don't get paid in the game as well. For a lot of the fucking missions you do in the game. You just get something called respect. Well, how's respect supposed to buy you fucking clothes and everything that they tell you? You know? And not only that, but they literally kind of killed the whole entire GTA vibe. With San Andreas. Because technically, when you really think about it, you know... That's where technically it went afterwards. It all went to the San Andreas fucking thing. GTA 4 went into like San Andreas. So, uh, freaking GTA 5, definitely San Andreas. You know, it wasn't about the gun, it wasn't about the drug trade anymore. <clears throat> yes, they brought the drug trade back in, uh, in GTA 5 with Trevor in a way. But it wasn't the same. It wasn't the main focus in the game you know you play GTA 3 you play GTA freaking um, Vice City it's all about the drug trade okay we got 400 ruby coins Yeah, but I'm talking about the drug trade in, in a way. You know, you go play GTA 3 as well. That was also about the drug trade. You had gangsters, mafia. You know, they were even talking about the uh, literally the Colombian cartel. That's drugs, you know. Whereas, literally, like, don't tell, don't get me wrong, San Andreas does talk a little bit about drugs, but it's not the main focus. You know, it's the main focus of GTA San Andreas was CJ literally fighting for the hood, trying to get rid of drugs, you know, and it doesn't make sense. Even though it's based on a true story, it just doesn't it just doesn't make sense in a GTA sense. You know. Well yeah, but I'm saying that technically like CJ wants to get rid of the drugs. You know, he wants to get his brother out of the drug trade. That's why he kills Big Smoke at the end. Spoilers. But it's been literally twenty years. I think that's not really a spoiler anymore. <laughs> Whereas, like, like you know, like, Vi uh, freaking Vice City was all about building a drug empire, you know. The 
GTA was learning about learning the colonel bosses. And also another thing about GTA frickin' the GTA games, you know, none of them were as dark as uh, the stories games. Oh, here we go. We got a finisher coming. Oh, that's kind of nice. Okay, at least that was a nice finisher. I gotta admit that. Wasn't that bad. Okay, so let's be... Let's be Scorpion. Well, yeah, it is more about the betrayal, but technically, you know, I just always thought that Sandris was the worst one. For the PS2. Now, if we're talking uh, freaking uh, modern day, it's GTA 5. I hate to say it, but GTA 5 actually sucks. Don't get me wrong, the, the online is good, but the fucking story sucks. That's gotta be one of the worst fucking stories I've ever fucking seen in a GTA game. Yeah, let's go do yoga. Uh, the fucking finale. Go kill yourself. It's the right choice. <laughs> you know, who the hell would think that? Yeah, sure. Let's let's go kill. Let's go kill myself. Mm. And not only that, but they made Franklin look like a bitch. And technically, they made freaking Trevor an asshole. And also, Michael just looked like a dick. You know? There was nothing about the characters in GTA 5 that I actually thought made sense. At all. You know, Trevor was absolutely the coolest character ever. And that's where I disagree. You know, I disagree with that. I don't think he was cool at all. Was it cool for him to kill Johnny? No. You know, he killed a freaking character. I have never disli disliked a character in GTA more than Trevor. Well, yeah, that's what I'm trying to get. Like, there's, there's no way that technically... You could literally, uh, like, justify him killing uh, fucking Johnny. A main character in a GTA game. Just think about this for a second. If they got literally freaking Michael to kill Tommy Versetti. You know? It would be like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know? And that would never happen. But it could have. Okay, who should we be here? Let's be Kano again. Mm. Yeah, but I think, like, overall, it was just a stupid story. Even with Trevor, you know, him stealing his, uh, stealing that girl, like that wife there, and then everything else. It was more like, and he's not even the worst character. He's not. If you guys are trying to tell me that Trevor's the worst character in a GTA game ever, you never played fucking Liberty City Stories buddy and you should because you'll see how fucking dark that game really is i i beat livery city stores i said holy shit this game is fucking way more darker than any fucking gta game on the history of, my, of mankind any and i mean any <laughs> like it makes tommy versetti look like a saint and i thought tommy versetti was bad but no, Liberty City Stories has the worst character. Mm. Can I even get him once? Holy shit. Mm. 
I didn't like Nico. I was I was okay with Nico. You know, there's points that I didn't like about him, but then there was times where I thought, okay, it wasn't bad. You know, I haven't played GTA 4 in years. Probably it's been about six, seven years since I played GTA 4. You never made it to the DLC? Um, DLC was good. I would say the DLC was better than the fucking GTA 4 game. I really did like the Lost and Damned. That was good. The Battle of the Gay Tony was good. But GTA 4, in my opinion, was just... It had a good story. It just overall didn't blend well together. That would be my opinion about it. There's points where I literally felt like they just literally added missions just to kill time. You know? I'm going to be Quan Chi, actually. I was trying to fi figure out who I want to be. But yeah, I just felt like they just added missions in that game, GTA 4, for absolutely no purpose of the story. But just to kill time. I don't get me wrong, there is uh, some missions that literally have some purpose. But then there's literally some where it's just like, drive Roman here. You know, and it's just like, why am I driving him? He owns a cab company, for frick's sakes. You know? Why can't he just call the goddamn cab and get, get a frickin' driver? What am I driving him for? You know? <laughs> That's how I felt about the game. Mm. But the DLC on there, the DLC was a different story. And if you haven't played the DLC, then you don't know how GTA Online really got started. Because technically, if it wasn't for GTA 4 DLC, it wouldn't. we wouldn't have GTA Online today. Because they just took things from the DLC and literally added them in. Biker missions? You know. What uh, came from the DLC. Battle of the Gay Tony, the nightclub. That came from the DLC, you know. So. And my biggest fear about GTA 6, and I'll tell you what my biggest fear is, is that people cannot get over GTA 5. You know, that's my biggest fear. I think the fucking game is going to be successful for about maybe a year or two. GTA 6. And then everyone's just going to go back to GTA 5. And it's going to become like a big fucking flop. That's my biggest fear because technically, the game fucking flops, that will be the end for fucking Rockstar Games. It will. It will be the end. There won't be any more fucking Rockstar games if the game flops. And trust me, the game's going to fucking sell well at the at the beginning. The beginning. But a couple years in, we'll see how it fucking uh, progresses. Because I feel that GTA 6 is going to be a fucking mean game. As everyone says about memes, I think that they're going to be one. Same, uh, same uh, serious question. Why can they do that they haven't already done in 5 online? I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. But I feel that technically what's good... Why people are going to literally get away from GTA 6 quickly? Think about it. What's around? What's right around the corner? GTA Plus. You think they're not gonna fucking do literally fucking do that in 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 the game? And I feel that technically, how they're gonna fucking make money, in a way, that this company's gonna fucking make a trillion dollars or something stupid like that, is that they're gonna charge you to fucking play online, for GTA 6 online, with GTA Plus. They're gonna charge you. They're gonna raise the fucking price 
up to twenty dollars. Well, twenty dollars Canadian in a way. I don't know how much it is in the state in the states, but it's going to be probably twenty dollars Canadian. And that's the way how it's going to be. You know, and that's just to play your fucking GTA Online. Think about it for a second. If you have an internet connection and everything else, why can't you play online? You know? Like PC can. And that's the reason why I feel that technically PC's not coming out quick. Is because technically they don't want uh, the freaking modding community to literally uh, get the free GTA service. You know? Think about it. It's going to happen. I guarantee you GTA Plus is going to be paired with online service. And I can see it already. It's only a matter of time before they do it. Especially for GTA 6. I think they're experimenting with GTA 5 and they're seeing how far it will go for GTA 6. I have no idea of a business that hasn't already done in GTA. I bet what we get in GTA Online with GTA 6 story. Best Mortal Kombat? Thank you, Sabu. Nice to see you. It's nice to see you here. So, yeah. Let's go to the crypt, actually. Let's try out the crypt and see what we can buy. And also, thank you for subscribing uh, the other day as well. I don't know if I actually did say that. Uh, thank you on that. Okay, so what was it again? Triangle R1 square. The menu brings a bunch of nostalgia. Okay. Okay, so we don't have that much coins, but let's see what we can buy. Let's see. We got 250. Let's buy this. AD. And see what we got. Moloch sketches. Okay. Guy who I don't really want to see again. Let's try AB. We're just going to go in order. What we got? Conlao sketch? Okay. Can't afford that one. Basically what I mean is you'll play GTA 6 story. When it comes to online, it'll just uh, link to GTA 5. And they'll just offer the same business in your lo new location. Oh no, they won't. Oh no, they won't. You don't know Rockstar Games. <laughs> oh no, they won't. They're not going to do that. GTA 6 Online and GTA 5 is not going to be the same. There's no fucking way that they're going to do the exact same fucking thing. And I'll tell you the reason why. It's very simple. It is because technically it's going to be a whole entire new engine. It's not going to be run on the same engine. So, if they were to literally do that, it would be literally bad for business. Really bad. Because you got to remember, it's only for PS5 and Xbox Series X for GTA 6. So, if they were to literally take your GTA 5 online and literally add that, then that means technically... PS4 and Xbox One could still be in. No, 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 no. They're going to kill those servers completely for GTA 6. It's not going to happen. <laughs> so, I'm just literally saying the truth. It's... GTA 6 Online is going to be a totally different thing. And that's where a lot. That's why I say a lot of people would be pissed off about it. You know, knowing that you're gonna have to fucking start over. I 
I'm hoping so, but at the end of the day, you never know. Honestly, I think I think it's a little too soon, a little too little too late. You know, we'll be going on what twelve years, guys. Think about it for a second. We'll be going on twelve years when GTA Six literally hits. Almost twelve years. Is it a little too little too late? You know. I'm talking about the game dynamics. You'll be playing the same game in a new map. Yeah, I know. And that's where I literally think that technically GTA 6 is going to be good, but it's not going to be as good as what people hope. You know, it's going to be good for, like I said, probably a year or two. And then I feel that people are going to go back to GTA 5. And the reason why, because we were stuck with that game for 12 years. It's kind of like saying goodbye to a friend. In a way. You're still going to come back to see the fucking friend if you still can see the friend. You know? Okay, we can't afford that one? Okay. And yeah, 12 years is crazy to fucking think about. The only difference between drug smuggling today is different from 20 years ago is not the drug wait what 20 years ago is the drug not the industry oh okay but yeah but what I'm saying is that technically it's the honest truth you know like I don't feel that everyone's gonna literally freaking want to literally like grind for GTA 6 Think of how many hours we put into GTA 5 for any one of us that literally have been playing the game for 10, 12 years. We put on so much time and Rockstar Games wants us to start over, you know. I know we will, but I'm saying that technically, I don't think that for a lot of us, we're going to put as much time and effort as we did. And from GTA 5 to GTA 6. And that's why I say people are going to go back to GTA 5. Because you have all the fucking cars in GTA 5. You have literally the modded money. You have uh, everything. Whereas GTA 6, I don't think they're going to allow you to have that. I hate to say this. They're not going to allow you to have modded money. They're not going to let you have modded cars, probably. Think about it. They're already trying to crack down on fucking people already doing it. You know? And I think they literally got a good start. Uh. I'm just literally going to each one. Okay. Can't afford that one. Oh, we can finally afford this one. BK. Oh man, I wish I could afford this one. Damn it! I want BJ! Give me my BJ's! <laughs> I'm messing with you guys. But it's funny though. Okay, we got BE. Let's see what's inside BE. Swamp line sketch. Okay, we got more sketches. Can't afford that one. Oh, perfect. I'll drain out this one. Johnny tapes. Okay, that's a hint. And don't get, don't get me wrong, we're going to play again. I just uh, want to spend some time in the crypt, see what we can get as well. You know, show the game a little, uh, some love. Because this is... Uh, no, I didn't. I don't really watch uh, Monday Night Raw. I haven't watched it in years, actually. So... I'll be watching WrestleMania though. 
That's for damn sure. I'm gonna be watching WrestleMania, but I don't usually watch Raw. Kano cereal. I kind of want that actually. Someone make that and make that and send it to me. <laughs> I want Kano cereal. <laughs> I uh, had a commercial free segment at the beginning. It was dope. Okay. I respect that. But as I said before, I feel that technically... The Rock is going to... Like, I feel like The Rock and Roman are going to win against Cody and Seth, in a way. To set up a bigger storyline for later that night. I feel that Seth is going to turn his back on Cody. And during the match. It just makes more sense. It doesn't make sense to have the freaking Cody and Seth win that match. It really doesn't. Knowing that they're hinting the shield already. They're hinting the shield in WWE 2K24. So if you don't know that, they already are hinting it. So it's like, it, I could see that the shield is coming back. SS sword sale, okay. We only got a little bit left of these coins. So we got sapphire out. Seth turned on Cody would have been wild. You're probably right right. Well, I know I'm right, and I'll tell you the reason why. It's very simple. Two years ago. Two years ago. WrestleMania 38. Cody makes his return. Who's he face? Seth Rollins. It's funny how they put them in a tag team match together, huh? <laughs> Story kind of lines themselves up perfectly. All you gotta do is just read between the lines, and you and you'll figure it out. So we got 127 of these dark ones. No, it's not that one. So it's these ones here. There we go. Finally got one. Bingo. Mm. Quinchy's face texture. Ugh. That's kind of creepy, actually. A little. A little creepy. I don't mind it. Reminds me of like an 80s horror movie. But that's it for the quip, crypt. Uh, let's go back and uh, try to earn some coins. We still got uh, roughly an hour and a half, so. Uh. That was super cre creepy. Yeah, I agree. I was actually kind of curious, Sabu. Are you literally a fan of Sabu, or are you actually the real Sabu? I was kind of curious about that, because I know he has, I know he actually does literally live stream as well. So, that's one thing I do know about Sabu, but I don't know if you're the real one or you, oh, okay. So you're Terry, then. I wrestle against some of your friends. <laughs> if you are the real one, I wrestle against, uh... Raven and I wrestle against Rhino because I used to actually wrestle. Ah, JK. Okay, so you are a fan. I was just saying that, yeah, I did wrestle against Raven and I did wrestle against Rhino and I did wrestle against Just Incredible, aka. Uh... Okay, but yeah, he does live stream though. He live streams on Twitch. I wasn't sure if he had a YouTube account or not. But I do know you live streams on Twitch. And don't get me wrong, I like Sabu as well. You know, one of the original freaking ECW guys, but no, I never got to wrestle. 
that's all. And when you take an even flow for on a D, uh, even flow DDT on on a steel chair from freaking uh, Raven, it's gonna freaking hurt like hell <laughs> the next day. So, because wrestling might be fake, but if it's on a steel chair, it's gonna hurt a little. Mm. I just had a headache that day after. But yeah, guys, I don't know any fatalities, so that's why I haven't done any. So. And like I said, Monday is Mortal Kombat 10. And then the next week is Mortal Kombat 11. And then the next week is literally Mortal Kombat 1. Still playing Mortal Kombat content literally coming this month. The only week I'm not doing uh, Mortal Kombat is the 29th week. I ha I'm literally busy that week, so it won't happen. So after the 22nd, there won't be any live streams for a bit. Um, I might literally do May 4th after, so I might take a few weeks off and then do one on May 4th. Just for Star Wars Day. I do have a couple Star Wars games that I could play in my stream, so. And then uh, May 10th, or that weekend, will be my mom's video, so. And then I'm taking, and then I'm t taking time off in May as well, after the mom video, so. Get them. Mm. Two, fight, fight. 
Well, it's 12.30 now. Wondering what everyone's having for lunch. Slash supper. P.S. Dibs on all your food. <laughs> you don't know? I'm also Mr. Dibs. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. Okay. I could have went either way to her. I'm shocked uh, Luke Kane's not in the game. I thought Luke Kane would be in this game. Or maybe he is as a secret character. Okay, so I break the board. There we go. Broke that bamboo. Earned some more coins. We'll go back to the crypt as well in about maybe half an hour or something. We'll go check it out. See what we can buy again. Oh wow, I thought I had him there. But I want a five game win streak before I literally lost that one. So. Let's try. Don't really care for Bull Rachel. Wish I could unlock more characters, but I don't know how. Really don't know how. <laughs> Probably like the crypt, I would assume. You unlock them? Hmm. Am I in Oh, damn. See, one tough son of a bitch. <laughs> I 
And also, guys, if you haven't, please like and subscribe to the channel. Much appreciated. I think we're trying to get to 125 subs. I think we're almost there, actually. I always like to do it in small bunches. Never say, well, I want to get to 1,000 subs. Go, go for each 25, roughly. You know? This way, no one's obligated to literally subscribe in a way. Always. But it's much really appreciated if you did. Okay, so... stream for just about two hours now or somewhere right around there I don't know exactly how long but I think it's been two hours <laughs> mm. but yeah we only got about an hour at an hour and 20 minutes roughly so mm. after two o'clock my time I'm gonna call it Say I gotta be very careful, but you already got me. Go back to Kano. I had an undefeated streak earlier, so let's see if I could try it again. There we go. Got that one. Who's next? Oh, Scorpion. Okay.
Holy crap, man. I'm just getting my butt owned here. Is this gonna be, I was gonna say, is that gonna be a flawless victory? But if I could cheese this, no, I can't cheese it. Damn. Can't beat him, join him. <laughs> Oh no. Okay. Oh man. This is uh, uh, those ones are pretty hard to be honest. I knew it was either that one or the better one. So, I just guessed. Oh wow, I got that win. <laughs> wow, that was close. It's not going to as well as planned. <laughs> I thought I could beat Scorpion with Scorpion. Oh, well, that's not going to happen. Ooh, let's try Quan Chi at least. Damn, I almost got him. Okay. 
Oh, come on, man. That was so close. Couldn't let me have it, could you, Scorpion? You freaking prick. <laughs> but I think I'm going to go to the crypt now and give that a shot. Because, yeah, seems like I'm not going to have a good time with Scorpion here. So, go back to the crypt, see what we can buy for a bit. And then go through that every like half hour. I think that that makes more sense. Okay, so we got a lot of green. So let's try to find green. Thirty-six gold. Okay. I guess this is the way how they work. The ones that are lit up are the ones that I haven't chose. Portable spear, okay. Can we finally get our B? Uh, uh, can we get our BJ? No. <laughs> uh, we can't get BJ. That sucks. Sonya. Ultimate Arcade Marquee, okay. Don't have enough coins there. Kind of want the ones that are lit up. CC DeVille. <laughs> Look at Destiny. Okay. CD can't afford. CE we can. Great Dragon Egg. Okay. Yeah, I know the controller is low. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. I'm not using that controller anyways. What do we got? Can we buy any more or is that it? Seems like we could probably buy one more red. Or something small. There we go. Got CW here. Can me a promo render? Okay. Is that probably it? Oh, we do have one. Okay, we can buy this one. That might be it. Oh, we got 221 onx coins. Okay. Just when you think that I couldn't get anything. Okay, so that goes right there. So let's see if we can find so it's those ones there. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Eh. Canadian, eh? That's how you know I'm a true Canadian. I gotta go with EH. Eh. <laughs> Reptile sketch, okay. We still got a little bit left. Let's see if we can find maybe one or two more. Maybe smaller ones. That's probably the smallest one. Look, 666 there. There we go. Found one smaller one, okay. Mm. Empty coffin. I didn't even know that they did that. Okay, that's kind of a cool freaking concept. I like that. You get robbed in this game. <laughs> okay, Pellis out. Sketch. Okay, so I still got 69.56. So maybe there's something that we could get that's really small. Did that say, ah, uh, that's 58, not 56. I thought that, for a second there. Let's see what we got in GX. GX, let's see. Comic book art, 21 out of 41. Okay. Still got a little bit of green there. Maybe we can find a really small green one. Because some have been like 20s and 30s, so maybe we can find one. There we go. And that should literally end at the crypt for now. And we'll come back to it. Oh, 91 sapphire coins. I didn't know I was going to get coins. Okay, so we got blue coins now. So let's see if we can spend those. That would have been the end if I didn't get coins. So let's just see what we got. Maybe I can find another small one. Okay. Try to find some. Seven. There we go. <laughs> Probably empty coffin, but I, I want to kind of see that actually. Mm. No, 15. I just doubled my freaking gold coins there. Ben seven get get fifteen? That's literally more than a double up. Try to find the smaller ones. There isn't that many small ones. I'm looking for blues, small blues, or, ye or yellows. Oh, there's a small blue one. Okay. Wow. Just when, uh, <laughs> well, this might be for a little bit uh, sometime. Just when I thought I can't get any more coins, so we're getting more coins. Oh. Movie store boards, okay. And if I can't find any more, more smaller ones, because we're only at like 45 is the highest, then I'll just call it. Oh, we got one small one. PR, okay. 
Yes, I got a gambling problem in a way. <laughs> 25 sapphire. Wow. I just keep getting coins, so. Never thought I'd play the crypt this bad and just keep winning. Six platinum coins. So it looks like the smaller ones just have coins. To be honest. It makes it kind of interesting to see what's in all of them. Test your might, Mortal Kombat 1. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Just what I thought, I can't literally find a smaller one. One with five. Come on, empty coffin, empty coffin. No, we got ox coins, okay. You're if I'll get this lucky and actually win this many coins. I don't even know what's inside all of them, so it's not like I'm literally going, oh yeah, I know what's inside this one. I don't know. So I'm just literally playing random guessing game. If I have enough coins, I'm going to buy it. Well, there's two. S.O. Okay, got a promo piece there. Need smaller ones. TQ, huh? No more and use. Okay, there's a free. Can't believe like like one, two, three could still buy you one of these. Three hundred twenty ox coins. Okay. I wasn't planning on uh, literally doing this. I was literally still gonna stop it literally once we literally get broke. But I keep getting more coins. UK, UK, give me forty-five platinum. So, um, let's see what's in, um, um, nothing, no 50, I keep getting go, I keep getting more coins, <laughs> okay. UT Bridge Arena Concept, okay. UZ, let's see what's in New Zealand. I'm only joking. <laughs> no, okay, so we got 178 rubies. Okay, that was kind of not worth the money. Mm. 
VJ. Couldn't get a BJ, so I got a VJ. <laughs> Let's see what we got. Drunken Master, okay. Tool nine. Eighteen more ruby coins. Just want to use. Uh, think I'm gonna go broke. This could get, get more and more. There we go. See what's in WL. Forty-four jade. Well, they're still playing after I go broke. We'll continue playing. <laughs> but if I don't go broke, then we'll just. This will be pretty much it, I guess. The crypt. Oh, there we go. We got an empty coffin. Okay. One broke on those. WS. Hundred and sixty five platinum coins. No, we're in there is X's. We'll go to Z's, like Z Z. In a way. We're not gonna go all the way back to A. Mm. So K three characters, okay. Nice little concept art there. Twenty seven XN. What we got? Oh yeah, empty coffin, okay. Okay, that's nice. Getting close to the end, because Zed's right next in the next door. Sixty four platinum. So we're looking for platinum, Xenox, or something really small. Let's see, what's in V, YV? YV, ooh, graveyard concept, okay. Can't afford that. Here we go. Zed Zed. Can't afford. Well, we can afford Zed A, so let's do it. And that'll be the last one we're buying. And then we'll go back, play some arcade, and then. Oh, empty coffin right on, man. I like that. That's kind of cool. I like that. So let's go back and play some more. Probably half hour of that, and then we'll go back to the crypt. In a way. Of course, I got to be by man Kano again. See if we can get undefeated streak going. Dude, nice TV VCR, vintage vibes. Thank you, LTK. That's what it's all about, man. It's all about vintage over here. I lived that retro life, man. You know, I grew up with this stuff. <laughs> so. 
flawless victory. Well, thanks for stopping by, man. Please like and subscribe to the channels if you haven't already. Much really appreciated. We got more Mortal Kombat content coming out this month, so... Okay, we got more J coins. So the plan is to play this for another like 30 minutes, then go to the crypt and yeah, Kano's always been my favorite. So I freaking love Kano. I, ever since Mortal Kombat One, when I was playing in the arcade back when I was a kid. Sort of revealing my age in a way, but a lot of people already know how old I am. I don't really hide it. <laughs> so. Oh, damn. Gotta try to get him. There we go. But I don't know how to do fatality, so that's why I'm not doing any. I don't know if I said that earlier. If you guys were here, but yeah. Hmm. Okay, you want to earn 200 gold coins there. Kano versus Kano for 250 J coins. Okay. And I earned 150 platinum coins for doing that. That's always nice. And guys, if you haven't already, go check out Miss Kiwi Gaming. Uh, I believe she's just uh, is going live right now. I think she's doing some Fortnite. So if you guys like Fortnite stuff and uh, GTA and I'm trying to think what else she does. I know she does a few other games, but usually it's Fortnite and GTA stuff. If you guys like that stuff, go check her out. Um, so. That's where I'll probably be after I'm done live streaming. I'll probably be literally in there, literally hanging out for a bit. I was trying to use it. <laughs> mm. 
Tried the cheese, but couldn't pull it off. No, uh, no cheddar today. Okay, so we got that one. Move on to the next one. And I got the coins. That's the most important thing is the coins so that we could go to the crypt and, and finish out the live stream after. Uh, we got Bullrachacho or whatever. Bullracho or whatever. That's the reason why this game gets a lot of hate because of this character, Bo Rachacho. Because it was his first appearance, I believe. And don't get me wrong, he does suck as a character, but overall, this game's not that bad. <laughs> Uh, stay away from that freaking poison freaking thing there. That will burn you. I remember that from before. But yeah, this is my first time playing this in over 10 years. So. As of today. <laughs> and that's why I wanted to do like a three hour live stream. So that I give the game some love. In a way. Not just do an hour and then literally call it like some people literally do with some games. They'll literally do like one hour of Mortal Kombat and they'll literally go, Okay, we're done for today. <laughs> it's like, yeah, where's the love? Other games I will be streaming in the future is Diddy Con Racing, uh, NHL 99 I will be doing, um, Donkey Kong Country 1, 2, and 3. I got those lined up as well. Um, and then, yeah. So if you guys like stuff like that, 
subscribe to the channel and trust me it's coming I got it all lined up already all the way until September <laughs> so after September I don't really have any plans for live streaming yet but as we get closer I'll think of stuff <laughs> But yeah, I started planning for this year back in January slash February, so most of my plans were already set in stone. The only thing I wasn't planning was to do to buy WWE 2K24. I wasn't planning on buying it at first, and then I literally decided, ah, let's do it. And that's why the last stream was WWE 2K24. Mm. Well, that was quick. Whoop my ass there. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, so let's see who we can use here. Mm. Let's use Shane Sun. We haven't used Shane Sun that much. Let's show some Shane Sun some love. Mm. Oh no, now I better test your sight, freaking thing. Hate these freaking things. Okay, so it's the far one there for right now. It's still in the same spot. <laughs> they really tried to trick me on that one. They moved it literally once and then they went back to the same spot. I'm like, well, that was pretty easy. Hmm. At least we got some more coins. That's all that matters. Like I said, we'll finish stuff off in the crypt. You know. And then I'll call it. I have no idea how to use Shane Sun though. I think I should go back to Kano. <laughs> I was pretty good with Kano there. Mm. Oh yeah, I'll cheese it. If I have to cheese it, I'll cheese. Mm, damn it. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got.
There we go. Got that one. Got to win one more, and then we could get those coins that we need. Is every coin going to help? Damn it. Really doesn't even freaking touch me? At least to do something there, buddy. Something. <laughs> Let's be Johnny Cage. But yeah, we'll give this a couple more tries and then technically we'll go to the crypt. Spend our coins and then uh, I'll do my shallots and then probably call it after that. I don't know. That's only if we can't beat them. Holy crap. Holy crap, man. I can't even get nothing on them. <laughs> I, have to, I have to cheese this. Mm, he's making me cheese. Mm. 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 <laughs> I had to cheese it. There's no way that, I don't, that technically I was going to freaking uh, win that fight if I didn't cheese. Got him! Finally! Okay, there we go. Got those coins that we needed. <sighs> Fuck, was he hard? <laughs> Probably not as bad as uh, Mavado there earlier. Oh, we got Sonya Blade now. I thought you loved me, Sonya. What are you doing? <laughs> Cause weren't weren't these two married, or something like that? Yeah, that's the storyline, or something like. That. I know they were in a relationship, and they had uh, Cassie Cage together. Holy crap, she's reversing out of my freaking moves now.
Oh no! A finisher on a freaking Johnny Cage, really? Well, I guess she really does love me. <laughs> Blows me a kiss of death. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go do the crypt now. And then technically after we've done the crypt, in a way, then we're going to probably do my shout outs and probably call it there. So let's go to the crypt, spend the currency, see what we can get. We got a lot of freaking... Uh, green so let's look for green green ones that are lit up well we don't have that much of that one can we finally get a BJ oh yeah we can finally get BJ Woo! good old BJ's <laughs> See what's in there. Ghost ship. Okay. That's actually a good way to end. Actually, just get a good BJ. Every every guy every guy will tell you that. Oh, we got CD. Okay, get CD now. Change on soul concept, okay. Got that. Only want the ones that are lit up though. Test your sight concept, okay. Can we get this one? Nope. We could get get this one. CK. Louis CK. And that's a pretty big one too. Would you Academy? Okay. There's almost half my coins there. Just on that one. Jewel free. Let's do it. See what's in there. CX. Scorpion goes back to hell. You could try to watch that after. I right, maybe. That kind of seems pretty cool. DX Degeneration X. Bow to the master. Break it down, baby. <laughs> Five hundred and seventy nine ruby coins. Damn, that's a lot of ruby coins. So let's get these two then. We definitely can't afford them. DW and DV, okay. Crave Arena Concept. What we got? What we got? Empty coffin. I love it. I love it. Love the empty coffin. Freaking fake. Yeah, it's kind of a scam, but at least at least it literally has a concept. You know, like the odds are not always in your favor. <laughs> you know, it's like okay, you want to get spend that, sir? So, Sonya Blade. Not, not too much. Well, DA. Let's see what's in the DA's office. 
But like I said, once we're completely freaking broke, then I'll do my shout out and then we'll call it there. So we've got sapphire coins now. So I think those are blue, right? Yeah, those are blue. So. Can't afford those. Nope, can't afford that yet. Nope. Nope. I'm only looking for ones that are lit up. To be honest. That I can afford. There we go. FZ. Let's see what's in FZ. Nope. Comic book art. 3L41. Comic book art, 2L41, okay. Can't afford that one. Going broke. <laughs> but like I said, uh, we've been going all just over three hours. I'm 2K2 characters, that's nice to see. I like that. Some good old stuff there. FN. Let's see what's in FN. 1800 J coins, just like that. We're right back in. As I said, you don't know what's in these coffins. It could be a lot. So now we're looking for J coins. Oh, here's one. GB. Concept art, 5L41, okay. There's GG's. GG's, man, good game. I like that. <laughs> Let's go for it. Mm. Comic book art, 10 out 41. But the plan is to go broke in a way. And then call it, and then yeah. Is that for, Oh yeah, that's, we can't afford that one. We can afford this one though. GP. Maybe we can get some more coins for the little guys. Nope, comic book art, 19-41. GQ. GQ Magazine. Concept art, 20-41, okay. Got a lot of concept art in here. Not really getting those coins anymore. HV, I think. Yeah, that's HV. Okay. MK Gold Print Ad. Okay. Let's get these two. HS and HR. High school and home re uh, and home research uh, resources. Herman Sanchez. Okay, good HR. Okay. We're getting broke. Got only a few more coins left. But maybe we can keep some find some small ones. Well, I can't even get that one. That one's pretty small. What 
139. Oh, we I could almost got that one. Twenty-five, there we go. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Something that's small. Let's see what's in it. And we can get some coins. Keep it going. No empty coffin. I love it. Love those empty coffins, man. Let's see what else. Uh, can we find anything that's 114 or lower? Almost can't afford that one. Looking for a 114 or lower. There's one. I can finally afford one. MF, motherfucker. <laughs> Can't afford another one? That's a pretty good one to end. Oh, 120, 102 docks. Okay, so it doesn't end yet. Where are docks? Okay, so those are the dark ones. Okay, so. Okay, so let's see. I almost could afford that one. Like I said, guys, once we're completely broke, I'll do my shout outs and then probably, probably call it. Oh, there's one. OP. We got OP in here. Hundred and twenty five gold. Just like that. Forty seven. Let's see what's in forty seven. With full T. Two hundred and twenty two ox coins, okay. Okay, we're finally getting some money back. And we could go for OS just like that. Oh, empty coffin. I love it. Love it. It's right beside each other. Like that. OV. Reptar's layer concept. So it's gold coins we're looking for now. Oh, look for this one. Twenty fire uh, five sapphire coins. Let's see. Is there any of them that we can afford? Nope. PC. President's Choice. No name brand. <laughs> As I call it. Same kind of pop I usually drink. Football rating. Look at that. That's kind of funny. Football rating. Never thought I'll see the day as Raiden as a football player, but today I did. Mm. And we still got quite a few gold. Oh, here we go, 96.
147 gold. Just like that. Just when you think I'm broke. Just literally comes right back up. Let's see if there's any more gold that we can get. Where's that? We just opened that one, so. Aro! We're finally in ours. One shiny ruby coin. I love that. That's fucking hilarious. One shiny ruby coin. One shiny. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> One. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious though. I got it. I I love that. Here you go. One shiny coin. Can't buy that one. Can I buy this one? Yes, I can. SN. Oh, we're down to five on gold. Gotta be more coins or we're done. Nope. We might be done. There still might be at least maybe one or two that we go for, but we need 44 with those platinum. Like, that's how far down we literally got. Doesn't mean there isn't one. Just means that it's gonna be probably harder to find. And if we can't find one, then we're pretty much done. Eighty six, seventy two. W's now. X's. I can almost afford that one. Just need five. If I have five, and then I can afford it. Might be it. Yeah, that's it. So I want to thank everyone for coming out. Uh, we had Quantum, LTK, Sabu, um, Strive 420. I'm trying to see who else did we have. Quantum, Dan. And anyone else that's like and subscribe to the channel, I'll catch you guys next week with uh, Mortal Kombat 10 on Monday. Until then, catch you guys on the next one. Later, everyone.